Hi guys, welcome to Stoke Studio. Uh, this is going to be a real quick tutorial today. Uh, someone did ask me in a YouTube video yesterday about how to change a colouring page that was coloured back to black and white. Now, I mean, I'll show you exactly how to get it back to black and white in some sense, but in my eyes, it's kind of more like gray color or shades of gray. Because if there is no white in the actual uh, picture, then it just turns a different shade of gray. So, well, like I said, it's really easy to do, and then you can go from wherever you want to go. So, uh, we're going to add a new screen size a new canvas, insert a photo. I just have this turtles one. So I'm just gonna make it big enough for the canvas. Uh, so you can see it's colored, yeah? So all I'm gonna do, layers, swipe to the left, duplicate the layer, add a new layer on top of that. Make sure my color is set to white. And then I'm gonna drop that on top. Then all we do is remove the white base layer in between the two layers and we turn uh, the top layer, the duplicate layer. If you press on the N, you get your selections up. Go all the way down to Lumosity. And that is it. Then you can squeeze these together and now you have a black and white picture. But like I said, I mean, unless there's white in the picture anyway, it's going to be like different shades of grey. But, but it's a black and white picture nonetheless. Uh, obviously, if you import one that's from here and you want to try and recolor it to yourself, then after that, you want to do uh, the trick I showed you before, which turns this to a transparent background, which is three fingers swipe down, copy, add a new layer, turn that layer into a mask, then we're gonna paste that on, so you should have this, yeah, invert, now if I turn this layer off, get a brush, uh, we'll just go with a soft brush, something that's kind of big, that you can get quite big. Turn this to black. And now, this should be a transparent background, yeah? So now you could, in essence, start all over again. Uh, you can pinch these two together, because now that's set. Now if you made a selection, you'll be able to colour what you want to colour, basically, okay? Hopefully it was helpful, but, I mean, this one was just to turn any colour for colour image into black and white. Uh, like I said, it's kind of more... gives you black and white, don't get me wrong, but it is obviously a grayscale, so you would have to go back and now you can colour it to the colours you want. But if you have an image you want to turn straight into grayscale, then this is the perfect way of doing it, yeah? Alright guys, thanks for watching, and uh, we'll see you on the next one.